So I'm always talking to my guests about how to master their mindset because people like you are so fascinating because you've taken an everyday event and become a master at doing something. So can I ask you when in your life you've most needed to really master your own mindset? And what helped you and who helped you? So every day I want to get better. That's that's my mindset. And I've been working towards this goal of helping everybody on the planet live healthier since I was age four. So it's been a wow. lifelong goal. Uh, but there, there was a time where I almost quit. Uh, it was too hard. I was uh, going through hard life with uh, three kids, uh, tough marriage. And then I, my science was attacked by two of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. They attacked and, you, did you say? They did. They said, my science is wrong. One, one of our discoveries, the major one. And a lot of people just believed the pharmaceutical companies because, of course, they know better than this one guy at Harvard. Mm. Um, so what I, you know, I was in bed for a week. I couldn't get out. Of, I guess it's as close as ever I've been depressed. Uh, but I'm, I'm proud of myself that I was able to say, well, I can't spend the rest of my life in bed. And I know when I die, I'm going to regret not fighting. So I got out of bed, went back to work and pulled a team together and worked on this to see if it was true. Were we right or were we wrong? We just needed to know. And I, I, it took about two years. Uh, and then we published a paper in Science that said, yeah, we were right and they were wrong. And that took a lot of willpower. And I found out that I was more resilient than I realized. Yeah, I mean, some of the best people in medicine and in alternative health have been attacked and besmirched. I'm trying to think of the guy who wrote Sugar Blues and the guy who actually w discovered what childbed fe fever was, septicemia. They were both ridiculed, um, diminished, and then they realized not long <laughs> later they were absolutely on target. I mean, the guy who developed septicemia actually died in a mental hospital. It was a terrible thing and he, because he was the one who said it's doctors not washing their hands, going from the mortuary to delivering a baby. So first they attack you, then they accept you, and then they believe in you, and then they usually say later, well, he was amazing. So I'm glad you came back from that because it, it's very hard when you're innovative and, and you get attacked by somebody as big as Big Pharma because they're so powerful. But... We live in a world where people are less likely to believe everything a drug company says anymore, and that's a good thing.